Brandon zu Wahl in Lord Kaap genaamd. Ik is jong voor met jullie een beetje te deel over hoe onze ervaring in Uruguay was. De competitie komt nu al een lang tijd aan en ons het al verschillende competities recht over die land gehad en ons het elke keer ingeneem. Maar hier in was baie speciaal. Dit wat ons kon leer daar aan de kant van hoe hulle werk, hoe hulle robots werk en hoe ons en wat ons kon optel van wat hulle doen en hoe ons het kan aanpas bij ons en was een groot ervaring. Dit was pret, maar ook baie leersaam voor ons om die competitie te zien en hoe ander land en samen met hulle te wees in de competitie en te kyk hoe hulle werk en hoe ons, saam met hulle, hoe ons ons goed saam met hulle kan deel en hulle saam met ons. So dit was een wonderlijke ervaring en ja, dit was baie leersaam vir ons. If we are having people from 
the rural areas and the small towns. I'm in actual fact more excited by the fact that you are coming from Carnarvon. Carnarvon is a small town. And as it is a small town, the eight of you, together with your teachers and parents, you are definitely going to be an inspiration to that community. Not only in Carnarvon, in your municipal area. Not only in the municipal area, in your entire region, and in the entire province, you'll inspire all of the kids to be involved in this robotics. Because that's where we are moving. Mechanical engineering, we are moving to science, we are moving to technology, and that prepares your mind for that eventuality. That's why then, it is in the same breath, I want to, to thank SKA for their involvement in this. Whatever project, that project must have an impact in society. If their interventions, if their support that they give to you can produce people like yourselves, then it means there's a future in the Northern Cape. Secondly, I want to thank the teachers in particular. A teacher's uh, love is only expressed in how he deals with his or her learners. Committed teachers are only evaluated through the success of their learners. Here, we can safely say, you are teachers that are, that are excellent. I want to congratulate you too. But on top of that, the management of the school, if the management of the school was not involved here, yeah? if the management of the school did not give the necessary support, I don't believe you could have ventured into this uh, program and then succeeded. My view is that that school will definitely be a better school. Carnarvon High School will be a better school than it was yesterday. I can imagine when you arrive tomorrow morning, I hope you're not jet lag. <laughs> when you arrive at your school tomorrow morning, what the other learners will be saying, what your educators will be saying, what your teachers will be saying, your principal will be saying, here's your mayor to come and welcome you as well. I am of the opinion that as the Northern Cape, we are always saying, we must invest, and that is what our Tambo said. If you invest in your youth today, you are sure for success tomorrow. With that, I want to congratulate you and wish you all of the best in inspiring others and for you to grow from strength to strength until we maximize in terms of getting you true tertiary. And I strongly believe, with the support of the private sector, the support of the Department of Education, and the support of the government that we are having. Success is not an option, it's a definite. With that, I thank you very much. And let's give them a round of applause. Thank you, MC. I'm sure the robotics team are longing to, 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 to speak Afrikaans again. Thank you, ABC. Uh, members of the media, any questions? Before you ask your question, just introduce yourself from which media house you present. And then you can uh, pose your question to the ABC. I'm Michelle from the DFA. How does the Northern Cape Public Schools involved was the department with this specific team um, financially, emotionally, what was the support from the department? Okay. Another question? Since this program has been... Oh, I'm Rufira from the SABC. Oh, since this program has been such a success, are you willing to roll it out to other schools in the Northern Cape? Okay. Michael from Finder and Kimberley. I'd like to know if uh, this would set up an internship later for the students at the SCAR facility. Three questions. Obviously, because the school is involved, it means the department is involved. Because then uh, we are liaising 
with each other, there was definite involvement of the department, and that's why we are taking this privilege and opportunity to welcome them back, and I'm sure we, we, the one that was before me saw them out. Uh, Rufilwe, what was yours? Um, is the program going to be rolled out to other schools? I think there was growth. I think from 2017, there was one school. 2018, there were about three schools in London okay, that participated. Which means, that to me is a basis for growth. And for us, the commitment that we are having to prepare our young people for the fourth industrial revolution, uh, I believe can start here and take it further from, from this point. That's why I, I strongly believe uh, the engagement that I had with the senior management of the department we were talking about how do we prepare kids from the Northern Cape to occupy their rightful place in society, particularly at the level of scarce skills. And this is what we want to see. Thank you very much. Obviously, you see, one of the challenges that we were having as the, as the Northern Cape, when SKA came, the sponsors, the investors, we're not coming from our province. People were moving from Cape Town to the side and then back. Our major gripe as the Northern Cape was, you need to start to invest in our province. In terms of all other aspects, including jobs, including everything that goes with it. You would understand at some point, they identified a school and they gave support to a, a, an IT center at the school, which then means they were preparing our kids. Further on, there were two kids that were taken to university at some point. Unfortunately, one dropped out and one was quite successful. Which then means there's a need for us to forge closer links with SKA in order for that to arouse interest in them. I still remember when I was young, I was doing agriculture. The visit to Forte University Agricultural uh, 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 Faculty in actual fact kept me going, which then means the link and the internships and the touch that we need to have with SKA will definitely arouse interest. We want to see our kids seeing maths not as a challenge, but seeing maths as fun. And seeing maths as fun, it means we'll definitely be preparing ourselves to position the Northern Cape as a modern province. Speaking about the modern province, you need to speak about uh, the fourth industrial revolution, you need to speak about robotics, you need to speak about techni technology and all other matters. So definitely there must be a plan to take it from here. And these kids will definitely be the forerunners and start to uh, uh, be involved in that one. Thank you. Thank you. One last question. Deborah Madalani from Solomon Star. Um, the robotics competition has been running for a while and it's been held at the same place all this time ever since it's been initiated. Is there any chance of actually seeing it actually involving kids who are close by to kind of an old Gibbs, Springbok, um, Concordia? Because they were never actually taught about it. They were ne never actually informed about it. It usually covers kind of an only. And then we only read about it later. Or if you're part of the SKA or NRF, that's where you learn about it. So what about the rest of the kids in the North? In case? actual fact, if you start to concentrate on the competition part of it, mm -hmm. then you'll be short-sighted. There should be an engagement before competition in, in, in encouraging the other schools other, that are in other towns and so on. So that ultimately, when the interest is higher here, then you can start to engage those that are leading and managing the association to start to consider our areas as well. The reason behind the competition going to Carnarvon is because other, uh, NRF is actually funding the competition. The owner of Robotics Lego, mm -hmm. Danny, is the one who's taking it there due to that. So the reason I'm asking the question is, as much as SK is closer to uh, um, Carnival, what about the rest of us in the Northern Cape who are actually showing interest? Uh, Pinton has a lot of learners who are good in medicine and science, but they're not benefiting from it. And people only find out it's a competition. That's how people know about it. There's no other forms of information that's being shared concerning Robotics. I think you agree with me. I'm saying we cannot look at the ultimate. Mm -hmm. Let's look at the build up towards the competition, which means access to that and also that engaging sponsors, organizations that are involved in this in order for us to see how we influence them 
for the benefit of the rice. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. That concludes the media briefing. I'll now allow for the individual interviews. Thank you. Individual interviews. I thought you were the individual.